MGP caliper covers on a 2018 Ford F-350. Our part number is a 10235. This guy ordered a uh, kind of a cool logo, El Barto. Looks like Bart Simpson. And we're gonna do a quick install on here. First thing we wanna do, this, uh, this truck, or this design, incorporates our new snap clip. So the first thing you wanna do is remove the studs on this snap clip. The long leg will go on the bottom. This real short one will go on the top and it'll hook in. So it wraps around the caliper bracket and snaps into place just like that. And then kind of slide it towards the front. The second one, just like that. You gotta work it under under the bracket and above the rotor just a little bit and then snap it down into place and now we got a nice tight fit there and at this point you can check it real quick with your feeler gauge to check the clearance between the rotor and the clip make sure we have clearance now install the caliper cover I install the bottom studs first. Two holes come up to the top and just do a little stretch. Stretch the arms up and over and onto those studs. Now you can apply the 1032 lock nuts. Whew, this brake's a little hot still. Torque down the 1032 nuts. If you have a torque wrench, it's 25 inch pounds. The uh, star washer on the top of the nut will bite down into the into the aluminum there. And now you have a finished fitment. I'll just double check the clearance one more time. But nothing has moved. Looks great. Can install the wheel again. And that's the front complete and we'll go on to the uh, rear next. All right, now we're on to the rear of the 2018 Ford F-250. On the uh, rear caliper, to apply the covers, to install the covers on the rear, we're gonna use our traditional sliding clip or, or slotted clip. So you just loosen up the nuts a little bit. You don't have to take them off all the way. And there's old Bart Simpson right there, El Barto. Push the clip so it's all the way up against the casting, top and bottom, so it won't go any farther. And typically this edge will be right in the corner of the clip. And that's the perfect fitment. If you want to pull the arm deeper, you pull the arm just deep into that corner. And I'm gonna check the bottom again. It's as simple as that. Tighten down the 1032 nuts to 25 inch pounds. And then let's just double check, make sure we have clearance between the rotor and the clip. There's tons of clearance there, tons of clearance there, which means the clip's not gonna rub the rotor, and you're ready to roll. Simple as that. Back on the wheel, and let's go off-road.
All right, make sure you get a shot of my bicep as I'm lifting this wheel.